Hey guys, this is Chris from the Summary Software team, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to identify what Mac that you're working on and what the best way to go about imaging it with Recon ITR is. So the first step that you want to do is that you want to figure out the model number of the Mac that you're working on. So the easiest way to do this is to flip the Mac over on the bottom. You'll see the the general type of Mac that, that you're working with, as well as a bunch of information about the manufacture date, who manufactured it, and the serial number. But the big thing that you want to take note of is right here. It'll also display the model number followed by A and a string of four characters. So go ahead and make a note of this model number because you're going to go ahead and type into your search engine. Uh, I know my Mac is an A2141, so just go ahead and type the model number in and then follow it with every Mac. The first result should be everymac.com and it will filter by the Apple device identifier that you typed in. So go ahead and select the iMac or the, the Mac that you are working on and it'll display a bunch of information about that specific model of Mac filtered by that serial number as well as a bunch of information about the tech specs, ports, uh, etc. The big thing that you're going to want to take note of here are the following keywords. You're going to take note of M1 or Apple Silicon, T2, and Fusion Drive. So those are the main things that are going to influence the best way to go about imaging it. Uh, as you can see for this Mac, I, it's actually running the T2 processor. So I'm going to go ahead and make a note that it does have the T2 processor. Then once you have this information, you're going to go ahead and head over to our website. You'll see this drop down up at the top of your screen and you're going to go ahead and hit a knowledge base. It'll take you to this page here with all of our different white papers and manuals and blogs and all that sort of stuff. They're all kept right here. Scroll down just a little bit and you'll see this Mac imaging guide right here. So we're going to go ahead and select this and it's going to be basically a short little PDF that has almost like a subway map. And uh, essentially, you're just going to follow the subway map to the different stops depending on what your configuration is. So for ours, uh, does it have an Apple Silicon processor? No, it does not. It has an Intel processor. So we're going to follow no. Does it have a T2 security chipset? Yes, it does. So we're going to follow it down here and then so on and so forth. So you're just basically going to keep following this depending on what your configuration is. And if there's file vault enabled or if there is a fusion drive uh, and then essentially you're just going to navigate your way down to the bottom one to figure out the best way to go about imaging that Mac. Now, if you guys have any questions or concerns, then feel free to reach out to a member of our team and we would be more than happy to help you out. Thanks, guys.